This is our laser mirror mount. The laser mirror mount has a place to hold the mirror in this position. It has mounting holes to mount on the actual laser itself and it uses an M6 screw. There are two places you can mount. There's one on this side and one on this side. And you can see when, if you mounted it using this position, you'll have clearance with these two screws. If you mount it with this position, you still have the clearance between these two screws. The mounting holes on the 25 millimeter mount is also an M6 screw. To insert the mirror, you unscrew this portion here. And on the back, you'll have a, a nut that sets the position of the laser mirror. You need to remove that nut. There is a, a lip at the end here that will hold the, the mirror. You take the mirror, drop it into that area. And then you take the set nut and screw it back in. You can use these two holes to get a, a tighter hold on the, on the mirror. On the 25 millimeter, pretty much the same thing. The holding nut may actually have grooves instead of little blind holes. And you would just set your 25 millimeter mirror inside this location. These mounts have the ability to be angled from the frame because you're mounting it using this frame here. This frame can be adjusted for the angle of the mirror. With these two screws here, this screw and this screw, you can adjust the angle of the mirror in this direction. And this screw and this screw will adjust the angle of the mirror in this direction. So this would be left and right, and this would be up and down. Here's how to adjust the angle of the mirror. If you want the angle to go out, which is causing the laser to angle this way, then you would screw this in and unscrew this one. Make sure that this is loosened because when you're pushing this out, this screw needs to be loosened to give it the ability to, to be flexible enough. And there's a screw and a nut here, so you wanna unsc unscrew both sides at the same time. This is loose enough that I can just do it with my finger here. So you can see as I'm screwing in, you can see that the angle is being pushed out. Once you've achieved the angle that you need, then you want to tighten this screw so it's stable. And it won't, it, it can't be pushed out any, anymore because if you, if you don't tighten this one, you can see that it can actually still move. So you need to tighten that screw as well. And now it won't move, but this side might still be a little bit flexible. So you want to make sure that this one is also tight. So now you have a very secure angle. The same goes for the up and down. To move the angle in, where you're actually taking the, the angle of the beam in this direction, you need to unscrew this. And this one, you don't have to actually unscrew these. You can just go ahead and unscrew this. You can see that there's a lot of space that forms between the, the end of the screw and the frame. To be able to bring this in, you need to tighten the screw. And then you'll also need to tighten this screw. Because as you were as you were loosening this one and bringing this one in, this is going to get loose. Okay, so that's how you angle the mirror on both sides. To make sure that there is no movement on the screw loosening through the, the motion of the machine, make sure that you tighten the set nut against the frame. 